Chicken wings are great. I really love them. The only one thing I wish was a little bit better is, you know the one with the two bones and you have to nibble in between to get the meat and it's just like clumsy and messy whenever you eat these things. I, I wish there was a better way and there is. Let's make some lollipop chicken wings. Now, uh, before we get going on this, I just wanted to point out that the way of making this is you turn them inside out. So the skin, which is the fattest part of the chicken wing, is on the inside of these lollipops. And then when you cook it, that fat just melts and becomes juicy and just liquidy and just, just delicious. So that's what makes these chicken wings just amazing. And the outside is still crispy because we're frying it in batter. Uh, so it's just the best of both worlds. Okay, let's get going. Let's start by prepping the chicken wings. All right, so our chicken wing has one bone here, two bones here, and a little winglet. You're gonna take in between the one and two bones and just bend it until it cracks or pops out. Then you take a sharp knife and cut in between the cartridge there and just slide through. Now you take the part with two bones and you take the wing tip and you just bend it over and push down until the two bones pop out like this. Now you're gonna to wanna to take a knife and just cut off the little winglet. Okay, now there's a big bone and a small bone. You wanna take the small bone and twist round and turn until it just slides out clean like that. Then we take the big bone, hold on to that, and just with a tea towel, just pull it down and over itself until the skin's on the inside and the meat's on the outside. And then you create this little lollipop. Okay, now you take the one bone part and next to the part where you cut it, you pull back the skin and then you cut around and just pull back again and cut around until it completely releases from the bone. Just keep doing that and get all those tendons. There we go. Okay, now you hold from the bone and with the tea towel again, you pull it over and over itself. So it like folds in on itself and the skin's on the inside. And here we go, we've got the second kind of lollipop, slightly bigger than the first one. Okay, now scraps, we have these winglets and bones. You can use these for stock or you can make winglets in the same kind of way we're gonna do now. But this is the gold here, the little lollipops. This is what we want. Now we're gonna marinate these. For that, you're gonna take two tablespoons of kimchi. It's a Korean fermented chili paste. It's very delicious and slightly salty. So you won't need to season this with salt since it has a lot of salt. Now you're gonna take two tablespoons of egg white and this is just to bind the marinade as you fry it. Then two tablespoons of cornstarch, followed by three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of pepper. Then two and a bit tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of honey. And now you're going to want to mix it. Just gently turn it over until all the little wing lollipops are covered in sauce. And now we're gonna to need to keep this in the fridge for one hour just to marinate. Okay, now to cook our chicken lollipops. You wanna take oil at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're gonna to wanna to cook it for three and a half minutes. Now don't overcrowd your fryer because that'll drop the temperature of the oil and they won't cook right. So just do a handful at a time until they look a nice golden brown like this. Place them on a little tea towel or tissue paper just to drain off some of that oil. Now to make the sauce. We're gonna add one tablespoon of sesame seed oil one tablespoon of chopped garlic, and we're just gonna fry that up to release some of that flavors and aromas of the garlic and get it nice and toasty brown. Now to stop the cooking, you add four tablespoons of mirin. It's a sweet rice wine from Japan. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce, followed by two tablespoons of that kimchi again. Okay, looking great. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sesame seeds and some salt to taste and one tablespoon of honey, plus two teaspoons of cornstarch mixed with water, 50-50 ratio. This thickens up the sauce much faster. And at this point, once it's cooked a little bit, you place your chicken into it, and then you wanna keep it moving, flipping, and just get it nice and coated in that sticky, delicious sauce. And just keep doing this until there's not much sauce left at the bottom of the pan. That is looking great. To plate, this is the most important and difficult part, getting those lollipops to stand up straight. Can be a bit fidgety, but if you persist, you will get there. 
Okay, just pop them there, there we go. Now we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice over it and this really brings a bit of freshness and acidity to this dish and really brings it all together. Now you've got delicious lollipops. All right, so this is the end part of the video. At this point, I was supposed to eat a chicken wing on the camera and tell you how good it was, but sadly, um, I ate one, then I ate another one, then I ate one more, and then a few more, and then there was just one left, so I had to eat that one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, basically, they're amazing. <laughs> they're just delicious. I fed these to a few people, and uh, many people have told me that this is the best chicken they've ever tried in their lives, but I leave that up to you to try out make the recipe, cook it at home, and then try it and let me know in the comment section below how it is, but only after you've cooked it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.